second lecture for the biodiversity unit is 2.2 economic ecosystem services basically what you need to know is you need to be able to describe an ecosystem which there are four types of them which we'll describe and describe the results if we disrupt them humans disrupt them and how, what happens in that case so ecosystem services is what how do we benefit they are basically goods that come from the natural resources or services or functions that ecosystems carry out and lead to some economic or financial value to humans, for example. First one is called provisioning, where goods taken directly for, from the ecosystem are made into natural products such as wood, food, or whatever. Regulating our, syst uh, our economic services where the, the ecosystem regulates, for example, the climate or the air or the water quality reducing storm damage or health care uh, costs because of poor air or poor water. Supporting, that would be natural ecosystems to support processes that we could do ourselves, but it makes it cheaper. For example, bees pollinating crops. Cultural means, how do we make money? For example, we make money from parks, camping, tours, or scientific knowledge about uh, what's happening in the eco ecosystems. So how do we disrupt it? So humans disrupt it, um, which decrease the value. For example, um, this can have an economic or an ecological. So if we damage the ecosystem and we destroy all the t trees, obviously that's going to have a natural, but it's also going to cause problems with our being able to collect wood or paper. Examples, clearing land for agricultural cities removes trees, removes organisms like uh, land for, uh, for coyotes to live, and therefore they had to come down into the city and get uh, to hunt. Sometimes if we overfish, that leads to a population collapse like what happened back in the 60s with the codfish in the Atlantic Ocean. Therefore, there were lots and lots of jobs lost lower fish sales, and the pot cost of cod went skyrocketed. Uh, provisioning services basically means how are goods provided to humans. Uh, for example, if we hunt, if we fish, if we cut down wood, we can use those things for our own good. Sometimes these are made from natural resources that the ecosystems provide. For example, the paper, the medicine. Did you know that vast majority of our medicines come from trees? For example, aspirin originated from the bark of a tree, of a willow tree. If we disrupt this by over-harvesting, like what happened last summer in the Amazon, some of the cures for cancer may be gone. By over-harvesting or water pollution, clearing land for agriculture or urbanization, we lose the ability to get those things. Regulating surfaces uh, are, pro are benefits provided by uh, ecosystem processes that moderate natural conditions like climate and air quality. If there's no trees, there's no CO2 that's going to be stored by a photosynthesis. Therefore, there's going to be more and more and more CO2, which is going to lead to hotter temperatures, more f fires, rising sea levels, reducing crops because it's going to be too dry. So if we do not have CO2 going into the trees and filtering the air and removing the air pollutants, we're going to have more problems with asthma and bronchitis. These are all things that are disrupted. All these services are disrupted when we remove the trees. Supporting systems uh, are where natural ecosystems support processes we can do ourselves, but they do it better and faster. For example, if you uh, have next to a river, you have wetlands, uh, any water coming into the river will be filtered. So it makes it so that the, uh, the plants in the wetlands can filter it out, making the river water cleaner. Or when it goes down into the, into the wetland and sinks down into the groundwater, and then we want to drink it later, it's going to make it pure so it's not going to be nasty for us. Bees and other insects pollinate our crops.
Therefore, we don't have to go out with our little duster and uh, harvest, um, pollinate them ourselves. If we use too much insecticides, we remove the pollinator habitat, fill in the wetlands for development, that's always it's going to develop uh, problems for water and other things. Cultural services. If we want to make money from hunting, fishing, from park fees, tourism, profits from scientific discoveries such as finding new uh, cures for diseases, that could be disrupted. So, for example, if we want to draw tourists to Yosemite, we want to leave it the way it is, as opposed to putting in a dam and making it into a reservoir like what happened there. If we leave it the way it is, we can make money from sightseeing, we can make it from um, restaurants, camping fees, and so forth. Or we can have fishermen paying fishing license, or scientists learning about plant compounds they can use to new therapies. If we remove trees, pollute it, have too much land, go, uh, cities going in, that's going to address, uh, damage it. So, a practice, practice at FRQ 2.2. Can you describe an ecosystem service that intact forest ecosystems provide? Can you identify one human activity that could degrade it? and explain how that activity decreases the value of the ecosystem.